Now at 4.30, we are learning more about the flight instructor who died in a plane crash in South Florida. Earlier this week, we told you how the plane went down into a home. A mom and her two-year-old son were inside at the time. I'm speechless. I, I mean, I'm alive and my baby's alive, but we, we could have died. So as you heard, the mom and child were not hurt, but on board the plane was 34-year-old Anthony Yen and a student pilot. Yen is known here in Central Florida for teaching others how to fly. News 6's Brian Didlake spoke with his friends about his passion. He wanted to make a change in the seaplane world. Uh, he thought that not enough people were getting their seaplane rating. Juan Londano is talking about this Eustis-based pilot, Anthony Yin. Investigators say Yin and a passenger, a student pilot named Jordan Hall, died Monday when their plane crashed into this home in South Florida. I thought it was the transformer, you know, but I grabbed the baby because I was afraid something would fall. And when I went outside, I, I saw the plane on top of the roof. The news stunning Yin's friends across the country, including Jordan Trickett, who lives near Seattle. I just couldn't believe it. I mean, I was in shock. Tony, to me, has always been invincible. You know, he was flying almost every day and, you know, doing all this fun stuff and, and living his dream. And I just, I just didn't think anything could happen to him. A dream that led Yin to become a well-known seaplane pilot operating out of Tavares in Mount Dora. His personality was so awesome that he maintained his schedule full of students and seaplane rides. You're competing with companies that have been, that have been in business since the early 60s. It is hard to compete with somebody that's been around that long. Cell phone video shows what a witness says is Yin's plane taking off from an airport in Pembroke Pines. Airport personnel told reporters the plane had been undergoing maintenance and had departed on a test flight shortly before it crashed. Investigators believe it was leaking fuel before it went down. We just kind of have to wait and see what actually caused the crash before we make any assumptions. He was a tremendous pilot. As the investigation continues, Yin's friends continue to remember the man they say made them proud and made a difference. Just to see how many people he touched and how many people he impacted, um, it's been massive. In Orlando. You know, means so much to me and it means so much to his friends and I'm sure his family. Brian Ditlake getting results, News 6.